your news on the go. One teen is dead after shooting on Syracuse's south side. The 15-year-old found in Lower Onondaga Park right around 8 last night. Syracuse police tell us it started in the 100 block of Cheney Street. That's about a block from the park. The teen was found shot in the back. Anyone with information is asked to call police. A Syracuse man accused of shooting three teen girls is set to appear in court today. 23-year-old Michael Brown is facing charges, including attempted murder, for shooting three teens accused of stealing a car on the city's north side. In November, police said Brown was looking for his relative stolen Hyundai when he found the car, then had an interaction with the girls. They say he shot into the car and then took off. An Oswego County man will spend 29 years to life in prison for the neglect and murder of his stepson. Anthony Waldron sentenced this week for the death of 17-year-old Jordan Brooks. Jordan died in 2021 from malnourishment, bed sores, stomach ulcers, and an infection. Waldron's wife, Lisa, is also behind bars, sentenced to 20 years after pleading guilty to assault and manslaughter. This morning, we're learning the name of the man hit and killed by a Syracuse Police Department vehicle while riding an electric bike. Police tell us 25-year-old Kean Adams was hit by a patrol car Monday morning. The state attorney general's office is investigating which is standard. The name of the officer has not been released. We have several traffic alerts for today's commute. Along I-81 North, midday road maintenance will shut down exit 29N in Cicero from 10 to noon. About an hour before that, 81 North will go down to one lane between exit 16A and just north of the East Glen Avenue Bridge. And then come tonight, part of 81 North will close between exit 16A and 17. Today is the deadline to apply for the civil service exam to become a Syracuse firefighter. The department is trying to increase its pool of candidates for the January test. To qualify, you have to be 18, have a high school diploma or GED, live in Onondaga County, and have a valid driver's license. There's also a $25 registration fee. Well, those clouds certainly make for a pretty sunrise. They really do. We have enough breaks in the clouds looking south, and so that's where we'll find that sun coming up. And a quiet start to the day in Syracuse. It's 34 degrees. It's windy outside, though, which makes it feel like the 20s, but not so quiet farther north you go. As soon as you get into central Oswego County, you run into that lake effect snow. It's been coming up fairly steady at times, slicing right into the Tug Hills, southern Lewis County, northern Oneida counties. That's where we have those winter weather advisories for today. Day, and that is where we will see the higher snow totals. Now, Syracuse will just be spectators to that until later on today, and then we'll have some some of that lake effect snow showers drifting south towards us, and then we'll have uh, some possibly like two, three inches in parts of the higher elevations along Route 20. Uh, things will settle down overnight tomorrow, increasing sun. Highs near 40 tomorrow, around 50 on Friday and sunny. The weekend's pretty quiet. Monday morning will start off a bit rainy, though, so we'll keep an eye on that for you. So Friday well. looks so nice. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is the like yesterday was pretty nice. Yeah. I could do with a little less of the wind. Yes. So Friday, even better.